transactionally. Why would – it's inefficient to have random acts of kindness. Boom. Blew me away. So I, pos I posited the question then, will uh, – AI may never be able to write an algorithm for random acts of kindness. My life, maybe yours, maybe Jamie's, maybe most people out there, you are here today because of random acts of kindness. Is that reaching out of a hand in a time of need by a random act of kindness from a stranger that probably created a lot of relationships. And random acts of kindness was not transactional, where you genuinely feel something for someone, not expecting to have something in return. Right. I think that's why many, many, if not most people, their lineages can be traced to a random act of kindness. I asked the robot, given that so many of us here here today, because of random acts of kindness of our ancestors, and we've invented artificial intelligence, and we're traceable to random acts of kindness, how will artificial intelligence incorporate random acts of kindness in the future? Good question. The robot took an unusually long time to answer. And the robot came back going, why would humans do that? It's far more efficient to have a return on your investment. Transactionally, why would, it's inefficient to have random acts of kindness. Boom, blew me away. <laughs> About five days ago, I asked chat GPT, uh, a grok, Gemini, the same question. And now it was greatly nuanced. Well, random acts of kindness can help, uh, help the community with goodwill. Mm -hmm. And this can be, you know, help the community because it's, you know, it's more sustainable, et cetera. And when, if possible, all those who are so inspired to go after this talk, uh, after this interview, go and ask artificial intelligence, whatever platform you want, but preface it with this. 